We good? We are good. Uh, nice job on the top of our order today. Really come out and set the tone early on. You know, big hits. Reynolds with the big three-run homer, and Chad did a nice job. Uh, you know, good, good team victory there. Kelsey, is what Brian Reynolds doing right now kind of the definition of what an all-star does? It seems like it, we have a big hit every night for the past month at least, and he's also playing solid defense. He's got the sprint speed. I mean, what else does he kind of have to prove? Yeah, I don't think he has to prove anything. I mean, he continues to have good at-bats. He can plenty, continues to play well defensively. So, yeah, I don't think there's anything else to prove. What's the biggest difference between uh, Reynolds this year and, and last year? Uh, I think last year he, you know, in the 60 game season, he got off to a slow start and he really pressed and, and got away from his true swing. He was trying to search for, for hits. And I think this year he came into spring training and he stayed consistent throughout. He's just, uh, trying to hit the ball hard. And, uh, you know, I definitely think we're, we're seeing the benefits of that. Shelty, how much confidence does the top of the order give you guys? You know, I know you'd like to probably have more from the bottom, but I mean, that, that group is so good. It seems like it can almost just carry you guys some nights. Yeah, it really, they've really done a nice job. And I mean, I, I think as we've talked, you know, we didn't have those guys for a long stretch of time. And when we have it, they really put together consistent at bats. And, uh, you know, I think to your point, Jason, you know, we need to continue to work with the bottom to, to get those opportunities for the guys at the top. But those top guys at the top have really done a nice job all year long. When we talk to Brian Reynolds about his swing, he doesn't really want to talk about bat speed or launch angle or anything like that. It seems like it's about timing and about feel. Um, it, I don't know. Is that is that does that feel like an old school approach to you? Maybe just simplicity in action. How would you describe his approach? That I, I mean, I don't know if I'd use simplicity in action because that's a big term. But yeah, it's he stays simple. I don't I don't think he's worried about you know launch angle. He's worried about any of that stuff. He's worried about hitting the ball hard making sure he's in a good position to hit on time. So if you want to, you know, call that old school, I think every hitter has to do that. And, and guys get caught up in doing other things. But I think he really simplifies it to that. Shelty, last year you were the guy who was banging the table the most to get Jake his gold glove. Are you making any calls for today for uh, Adam and Brian or – How's that campaign go? Yeah, I mean, I think we'll start that campaign later. I don't know if you start gold glove campaigns in June, but but uh, you know, I don't have any any problem uh, using my voice for that. Chelsea Chad, I thought has been really good his last two times out. I think twelve total innings. He seemed more in control. Um, do you any see anything different out of him these past two outings, specifically tonight? Yeah, I, I, I think to your point, he is more in control. He, he's staying more focused. I think at times before when we saw him throw a bad pitch, it affected two or three pitches. Now, if he throws a pitch that he where he doesn't want to, he comes back and executes the next pitch. And I think that's just a, a sign of, of getting better and, and maturation. But he's definitely, uh, you know, kind of exemplified that the last two starts. He's also ticked up the slider usage ever since coming off the IL. Does he know – he's always talked about how that's the pitch he feels the most comfortable with. Does that just kind of go hand-in-hand in hand with, you know – executing the next pitch yeah it does I mean in the in the slider it, I mean it's a good pitch and you know it's one of those things when it's your best pitch and you have the ability to execute it you should use it and that tick up uh you know is something that that we've talked about and because it is his best pitch because he can execute it uh and because it's an off-speed pitch you know I, I really like where I think we really like where the usage is for that right now Adam Frazier's hit three home runs off of lefties this year and I, I think it was three three of his 35 homers before then were off lefties um, he's also hitting them pretty consistently like a 299 average what is it about him kind of breaking the mold on that left on left matchup that gives people trouble well I think the fact that you know we talk about how short he is to the ball and he'll, he'll use the other side of the field and then when the left-handers like today spun the breaking ball that stays up he has that short stroke that's able to get the ball out front and, and backspin it out of the ballpark all good. Thank you. Thanks, guys. All right, everybody. Chad Cool's in the seat. We can go with Chad, and Reynolds is waiting in the wings. Chad, you said last time out that kind of the fastball command led to the slider being able to play well and, and lead to some good run prevention. Was it kind of a similar method tonight? It looked like you were going pretty four-seam heavy in the first inning. Uh, yeah, I was, uh, was able to throw the four seam a little bit better, not as well as, um, maybe last start, but, um, you know, I felt like I 
was able to use the slider off of that and then, um, you know, vice versa uh, as well. So, um, you know, mainly a two pitch mixed in the curveball, maybe through two changeups, but mainly it was two, it was two pitches, it was four seam slider, a few, few two seams. Um, so, yeah. Chad, this has become a pattern for you of consistency the last probably about month and a half for you. What has led to it? Uh, just making those mechanical changes. Um, you know, I worked with Oscar about a lot of the stuff where, you know, my plant foot and just being more directional towards home plate. And, um, you know, we, we messed with where my hands went and, um, you know, just where I, where I'm starting with the ball, you know, in the stretch and um, not getting too rotational. I feel like I was, you know, getting out of whack there. So um, me and Oscar are just, you know, working with the bullpen, getting more directional towards home and um, seeing more vertical misses instead of east-west misses. Um, just, you know, being in the zone more and then, you know, letting my stuff play. How good was the top three in your lineup tonight? Yeah, I mean, they've been great. They've been great all year. Um, you know, it's just, um, you know, really cool. Frazier just feel like he's always on base. I feel like every time I look up, he's always on base. Um, Cabrian, you know, heck of a player. And, um, you know, Reynolds also should be an all-star. Um, you know, you know they're, they're doing great. Chad, you had a couple of pitches or it got away from you a little bit tonight. But you always seem to come back with a pretty good pitch the next the next throw. It was just a matter of concentration and focus. No, I think it's, you know, it's just one of those things where, you know, I made a commitment, um, you know, out of, you know, let's just say out of 100 pitches, how many can I execute? So if I don't execute the one, you know, hit the reset button and move on and and, and execute the next one. So it's it's really just about kind of resetting after every pitch, you know, and if I have 100 pitches that night, you know, out of how many can I execute, um, you know, forget about the last one and, and, and just keep moving forward. Chad, I wanted to ask you about the double play balls, the Goldschmidt and Molina. I believe both were on sliders. And like, I don't know how many times we've seen you sort of recalibrate yourself with the, the slider. Just can you maybe describe like what that pitch means to you in terms of, um, you know, getting back right in a short term situation? Yeah, so I just feel like I have thrown that pitch so much. Um, and it's just one of those pitches where I can have it kind of laterally, or if I really need some swing and miss, um, I can add some depth to it. It's just about, you know, kind of manipulating the hand, um, like when I throw that pitch. So a couple of those that really had some good lateral uh, movement to them, and it just kind of runs out of barrel because it looks like a four seamer that's going to ride the edge. So obviously they have to swing at it, but it just, you know, it stays in that that, you know, 88 to 90 range and has more lateral movement to it. So, um, you know, guys are more apt to swing at it and just kind of run out of barrel. Um, so just being able to kind of play with that, uh, whether I want it to have more you know, up and down or more lateral, um, you know, and it's just, it's so big in those situations where I'm trying to, you know, create contact, um, you know, not, not really not try and get swing and miss with that pitch. Good for Chad. Good. Thank you. All right, go right ahead with Reynolds. Brian, I know um, winning the game is probably the most important thing to you, but with the production that you've had, uh, there's kind of been some some all star buzz. Do you think about that at all? Is that or, or I guess rather is, is that something that would mean a lot to you if that were to happen? Is that something you've dreamed of, um, or is it just kind of you know just a nice accolade? Yeah, I mean, I think everybody, you know, when they're growing up, dreams of that. So, uh, yeah, it'd be awesome. Uh, it's out of my control. So, you know, if I am, I am. If I'm not, I'm not. But, yeah, it'd be cool for sure. Would it be cool if, you know, Adam goes along with you since all those RBIs, he was, a, you know, the guy coming in on them? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he deserves to be there 100%. Ryan, the top of your order was really dominant tonight. Can you can you maybe describe or just, you know, how much are you guys able to feed off of one another if you see something Adam's doing, keep Brian's doing, and just being able to work together like you did tonight? Yeah, I mean, Adam, he sees a lot of pitches, usually, especially the last few games. So, you know, you'll be able to get an idea what the pitcher's, um, what his attack might be that night or what what he's got. And uh, keep Brian's always on base, so. Um, yeah, they, both of them top-notch hitters, so. With a guy like Martinez, who was kind of struggling with command tonight, are you kind of looking for that mistake when you went up there for that home run? Uh, I was just, 
trying to get something up in the zone and uh he hung a change up a little bit and i recognized it and was able to put the barrel on it anything else for okay good jace I just wanted to ask you about June and some of the numbers you've been putting up, and especially some of the power numbers. Like, you know, we've, we've seen you hit for average, but this type of power, and I know we've been over it a little bit, but like, what do you feel like is enabling you to get to that power so consistent, so consistently? Uh, I mean, I think it just comes back to my timing and uh, getting my barrel ready to fire, not having it wrapped so far around my head. And I really, I think that's it. Just, That'll allow my barrel to get to the ball more consistently. But I'm not up there, you know, trying to do any of that, just trying to touch with the barrel. Oh, good for Brian. Brian, if you could look at the back of your baseball card, it's, it's, all, it's always a 300 at batting average there, minors and majors, except for last year. What's the biggest difference between how you're seeing the ball this year and how you were seeing it last season? No, nah, I don't want to talk about last year anymore. Um, I don't want to talk about it last year. This year, I feel good and my timing is good and just trying to put the barrel on the ball. Is timing just a matter of being in the batter's, uh, the batting cage and practice, practice, practice and get those hands moving? Yeah, repetition and just comfort in there. And yeah, more, more than anything that. All right, that's good for Brian. Chair, tight squeeze in there. All right, everybody. Adam Frazier is in the chair. Go ahead, Brown. Adam, I think we've asked everyone tonight, but, uh, you know, we ask you about um, what the All-Star game would mean to you. But when you look at what Brian Reynolds is doing, does that not just scream an All-Star candidate? Yeah, I believe so. Um, yeah, I mean, he shows up every night and does something special. So, um, pretty, that's the definition of an all-star, I guess. Um, you know, I don't know how he hit that down and way change up out tonight. It was pretty impressive. And then, uh, but yeah, he's a really good player and I'm happy to be on the same team as him. So, um, definitely screams all-star. Adam, you and him kind of went through similar stuff last year where your seasons were defined by seasons that weren't really seasons and you bounced back this season. What sense did you get being around him? Like, did, was he bothered by that? Does he, is he, you know, completely turned the page from that? Like, how has he, he been able to move past it as well as he has? Yeah, I mean, I don't think anybody's thinking about last year at this point. Um, but, yeah, he was, I mean, he's pretty – Stays the same no matter what. Um, he doesn't really let get too high or too low, and uh, you know he stays focused. So that's why he's the good as good as he is and the player he is. So um, yeah, I don't think we're thinking about last year at all, and uh, just trying to focus on it one day at a time and uh, and uh, focus on what's in front of us. You're kind of right there behind uh, Chad. Cool for the the past two starts that he's had um, six innings, one run each time. And he said he likes to keep the defense involved. But what, what have you kind of seen from him that's allowed him to shut down offenses recently? And and how much do you appreciate that trust in the defense that he he really says he doesn't want to get too many swings and miss. He wants to keep you guys active. Yeah, I mean, I played behind Chad since we both got drafted together. Um, we were together the whole way up, and the big leagues the same as well. So. Um, no, the past few starts, he's been filling up the zone and uh, staying ahead in counts, and it's the name of the game. If you can stay ahead in the count, especially against really good hitters, then you're going to have a better chance for success. Um, he's done that the past two times out. So um, you keep doing that, I think he's going to be in a good place because he's got really good stuff. Adam, is there anything that's contributed to you seeing lefties maybe a little better this year? I think you have more, or are there as many home runs against Southpaws this year as you had in your career coming in? Um, not really. Just, um, I mean, I've kind of hit lefties my whole life, so I don't really feel like I'm doing anything different. Um, I'm staying on the ball a little better, I'm staying balanced, and uh, that's probably, I guess, that's probably the key, staying on the ball a little better. and. Uh, good things can happen. 
Adam, was curious about the top of your order. I mean, up here, you know, if you're like keeping score or whatever, you can see how much you guys are doing and how busy you are. Like the, the top three in your order, do you guys sort of know when you're on, when you're having a special game, when you're doing stuff like you were tonight? Uh, I'm not trying to pay attention to it. I know I can't control what Brian does or Reynolds does. So um, just try to take care of my part and, and take it one and bad at a time and uh, get on base for those guys because uh, they're both really good players. So, um, you know, I think it's it's our job being the top three in that order is to get on base and um, to produce some runs. So that's, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not worried about those, them, what they're doing. I'm just trying to take care of my business and take it one at a time and do everything I can to get on base. All right. All right, guys. Thank you.